For multi-rate systems, the so-called noble identities play a very important role. So here we have the noble identities. We have this section here for downsampling, this section here for upsampling. And here we see that on the left side, we have our signal. Then we first have the downsampling and then we have the filtering. But on the right side, we have an equivalent to this operation. But first we filter using a different filter, not this one. This is a upsampled uh, version of uh, this filter. And here we do the downsample after filtering. So these are the noble identities for upsample and downsample and the equivalent that we first downsample or upsample and then we filter or we first filter and then we downsample or upsample. So the symbol with this arrow pointing down means the downsampling by a factor of n and we achieve this by keeping only every nth sample. And the symbol with the arrow pointing up means that we're upsampling the sequence by inserting n minus one zeros after each sample. So we can have uh, an example if we have a future impulse response given by this uh, array here. So we have one, two, and three. And then if we take the Z transform of this impulse response, we will have one a Z to the power of zero plus um, two to z to the power of minus one plus three times z to the power of minus two then for n equals to two we have an upsample version that is given by this here which corresponds to the upsampled this so it is sparse because um, of the zeros in it and the impulse response then will be one zero two zero and three so we're inserting a zeros n minus one zeros after each sample so the noble identity will tell us in which cases we can exchange down or up sampling with filtering this can be done in the case of sparse impulse response as can be seen above so observe that this frequency response h z to the power of n that is the upsampled version of h of z so uh, remember that the upsampled impulse response has one minus uh, n minus one zeros inserted after each sample of the original impulse response as we can see here this is the original C, uh, impulse response and this is the upsampled version yeah? so um, in python we have here uh, we are defining this uh, array of numbers. This we are defining the uh, sampling, the up sample or the down sample factor. That's n equals to two, and here is our array. So what we want to do now is that we want to implement the first block diagram of the noble identities, the down sampling. So this is the pair on the first line with inputs y1 and y2. So this is the pair that we want to implement. First for y1, this is first downsampling and then filtering. So the downsampling by a factor of n equals to two, we can use this Python indexing. So we are keeping just every um, end sample. So this is what's our original. Then we'll have one, three, five, seven and nine then we will apply a filter we're using the l filter uh, from scipy and this will yield to the sum of each pair in x of d and we will have the y1 this will be what we have here So now first filtering and then downsampling to implement the corresponding right hand side block diagram of the noble identity. So this part here, first filtering and then downsampling. So what we have, um, we will have here an array with zeros, then we will include the some samples then it will yield to this here because we had b equal
equals to this. When we do this operation here, we are inserting a zero here. We also can use this sci uh, SciPy filter and we will have this and then we will get the um, y uh, of u which is here and then we downsample and we will have the y2 and we see that they are both y1 and y2 are identical yeah so let's do this uh, using python we had our original array here so now we are doing this uh, x of d so this is the down sampled of x so this is our b this is uh, the future we are going to use so y1 is the x of t uh, we apply this filter b and we have y1 which is this part here and now we are doing this operation here so we had what we explained here and then y u we are having our original signal x and then we are filtering with this b of u and then we have y2 and then we apply the uh, down sampled version of this and this is what we have here and we see that y1 is equal to y2 so this is we're implementing this uh, these parts here when we're showing that is the same if we do y1 is equal to y2 you know the difference here is that first here we downsample and then we filtered but here we first filter by a upsampled version of the filter and then we downsample so this is what it's implemented here we have this upsampled version of the uh, filter then we filter and then we downsample and we see that this um they're both the same so these noble identities can be used to create efficient systems for sampling rate conversions so in this way we can have filters which always run on the lower sampling rate and that makes the implementation easier now let's remember that uh, so far we've just did uh, the filtering at the higher sampling rate so it's uh, also possible to rewrite a filter as a sum of upsampled version of the phase shift and downsampled impulse response as can be seen in the following decomposition of a filter h of z so in this way we can make out of our uh, previous useless filter uh, so we will make it a useful filter when we combine seven of our upsampled versions into a new usable filter yeah so what we will do is um, something what is called a kind of a polyphase decomposition so we will have uh, polyphase components or polyphase elements